I already sort of trapped the ender dragon in the last video, but there was a big issue with this because if the dragon's alive, you can't get back to the overworld. So in the last video, okay, he trapped the ender dragon, but then he had to kill the ender dragon to leave the end. Okay, interesting. So he's going to find a workaround for that as well, which I'm very interested to see how he does that, okay? Making it impossible very to permanently trap indeed. the dragon. At least we thought. The villager thinks otherwise. After I posted the video, a way to permanently trap the dragon was discovered. The only issue is that it sort of breaks the game. I'm not okay. ready to do that yet. I've been doing this in my hardcore, so by the way. We'll I'm still this idea. The easiest bosses and just work our way towards the dragon. So the first I look boss forward to seeing how this all works. Wither. You think the easiest boss is the wither? We'll first need a few wither heads. Oh, first try, okay. See, look at it. Look at the cool edits. Oh. He just I love jumped it. off the edge. I love it. Oh, there's another one. There's a bunch of mobs in here. Oh, uh, okay. That didn't go very well. There we go. Finally, that's the last one. Now we just need some soul sand and we can spawn the wither. So I think because I trapped all the regular mobs in here. Oh, there's another one. There's a bunch of mobs in here. I don't know how many, how many, how many uh, heads he's planning to get. Oh. Okay, okay, he's nearly dead. Is he going to use a totem? go very well. No, there he's we go. Right. Finally, he's that's the last fine. one. Now we just need some soul sand and we can spawn the wither. So I think because I trapped all the regular mobs in here, it makes sense to put So, so he's going to trap the wither. Right I'm interested to see how he does it because here. the way so I would trap a wither is I would put a grindstone at the top and then and I put a stone cutter at the bottom. And when the wither spawns, it would spawn that up and it would be stuck like you're doing a wither farm. But I don't feel like that's, that's safe. That's my plan for it. But I feel like that's that's super risky. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm curious to see how it will uh, how it will transpire, I guess. And if it will uh, if it will get better. Thing you need to do is dig a big hole. So he's yeah, he's digging a big there hole. There we go. That was like 3 hours of work shown in 2 seconds. Um okay. So this side will have the warden in it and the other side will have the wither in it. Actually, if the warden there What's we up? go. Like he's dug a road. This is where he's going to have the wither. He's um, going to have okay. the So this side will have warden. the warden in it, and the other side will have the wither in it. Actually, if the warden's here, it might be too close to these mobs, so it might start attacking it through the wall. Okay, I guess this side's the warden, and this side's the wither. That's so true. Wardens are very annoying. The they always attack through the walls. And I'll surround it in an obsidian box. Okay. And no, I don't I'll think that works. Okay. Wither in, in, oh, he's going to find out. If they, if they, if they shoot a blue, a blue head, it, it breaks obsidian, so that is a, a big problem that he has not oh, seen here. Close it up and okay. Yeah, he's gonna find oh. out. Oh, we can break the obsidian. This could be bad. Um... <laughs> I don't know. He's so chilled though. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's bored with it. Make sure it's gonna be bad. So it doesn't go after the other mobs. Like he's really, really like chilled. Like. <laughs> okay. okay. Is that okay, yeah. yeah. So obsidian well, doesn't work. That didn't work. So yeah. we're gonna have to use a more complicated design. <laughs> you I'll are gonna have to use some more complicated blocks. Design. So it's oh, he's got. I, I'm interested to see what his design is because I don't think I've seen this redstone stuff one. Stuff and a few enchanting tables. So we okay. need a redstone block here and three slime blocks above. Like I know to trap it in bedrock. I know to trap it with a grindstone. Right stone. under the wither, we need a snowman. There we go. And we need more slime blocks. Um, you made a slime now bomb, Sandy. Come on. These slime blocks here, a boat, so it balances in the middle here. I don't know how it's floating, but <laughs> I like how he tries to obsidian boxes. Like, question. right, we need a and master contraption now. Here, iron gold and he, he here, and okay. we are finished. Is this gonna Place work? Head, water there, and then when he explodes, I flick this lever. Then I grab the water. Oh, the boat and... traps it. Perfect. So that's oh, working. that's clever. I'm surprised. And then it keeps shooting the golem, wrong. so it's distracted. Uh, well, oh, oh dear, okay. not into the chest. Uh, I mean, I guess he's still stuck, but it's it's, it's it's going for I'll the player. The potion of invisibility. Good thinking, Batman. Here. And he's escaped, and <laughs> the potion doesn't work. Okay. Oh my goodness. It, well, you have to take your armor off okay. for the potion to work, so don't you? That, like, it work with the light, but it work with the rest. Planned. So, the issue is that every once in a while, the wither will shoot a blue wither head, which will just break the blocks and kill the iron golem. 
Oh wait, I don't have my elytra on. Okay, so we need. He's got no even another armor. What are you doing, Tedder? And Rekrap came up with a really good idea to use soul sand and water to redirect the skulls. So we'll use the same huh? design as before and just add in the water. And it looks like it's working. So the heads are flying up, but the main guy's mad at me. Uh, I'm going to see if I can fix that. Okay, if I go back down now. Is this going to okay. work? It looks like it's working. Now, this explosion sound is already getting pretty annoying so i'm gonna dig a tunnel so the explosion happens way over here outside of the area that's so cool it just flies wow no that is really cool i here. like that we'll bring this guy over here what's he gonna be like a distract the wither now he's going after the wither yeah that didn't work now if we go back here we can't even hear the explosions okay well that's the wither trapped now the problem is it doesn't really look like it's trapped so no. i'll outline a circle and we can i'm interested to see yeah what well, makes it look so but, i mean i don't know if i'd use that, that exact design i'd use something similar to the wither farm that i'm like the obsidian farm i made i think another wreck I'll also make a little platform here to make it look I mean, like it takes so long to do that fast and edit right area around this My editor will know. we can just have normal nether rack and there we go. Now I'll just add some details, like some gold, quartz, nice. polished. So I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch all of Sandiction's one where he, he trapped every mod. But I, did he trap the Elder Guardian? Because I, 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 my plan is to put the Elder Guardian and the Wither together, like a different corridor, and to also then at the end of the corridor have a. So the the Elder Guardian and the Wither are going to be like far away from all the other mobs. And yeah, at the end of the corridor, then I'm going to have a, a portal, which is going to take me to another area where it has. Uh, like, uh, it'll have all the mobs that can only be in the nether. So the piglin, the piglin brute, and the hoglin. They'll all be trapped in this separate room. I think everything else... Uh, and then I'll have every single mob possible in the game. Uh, obviously, the wandering trader would despawn, so I can't have that one. But all the other ones, I um, I have. And it says now that it's an excellent connection for my stream. So that's that's very happy days as well. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get back to, uh, to this. And some nether brick fences. And now I have to do the ceiling. Oh, this is this gonna look is very gonna epic. Take a long time. But it's gonna look epic. The thing is, you should probably. Okay, I can see why. So I, I was about to say, you should probably, like, make the room and then trap the wither. But I can understand why he's trapped the wither and then made the room because uh, it seems like the wither doesn't care about him, which is good news. And if he made the room and then trapped the wither, it might blow stuff up. So I can kind of understand why he's done it. Why has he done these pillars? I'm curious. Are they just uh, scaffolding? Now, for the second floor, I'll just have a roof Oh, it's like a double this. floor. On these side circles, I'll just have a wall of these nether brick fences. He's going and I'll really good, isn't For the other side. He's a... Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Now okay. I can he's, he's a really good builder. Like, I'm not a good natural and builder, really, but the sand is very good. For this part of the roof, I need to make sure all the skulls can get past. So that works. What about this? I feel yeah, like they're going to really they're gonna close crash. though. Actually, I'll leave a hole there because I don't want it to explode and then kill the snowman. Now we can add netherrack to okay. the back wall. And there we go. Oh, wait. There we go. So is that's that done? the back wall. Oh, see what I mean? Like, how is he so good at building? Literally, I, he just was placing a few blocks last I saw. Next thing we see, he's built a flipping nether palace. I mean, <laughs> it looks really good. It looks really, really good. It's pretty plain. The snowman keeps shooting snowballs here. If I steal some snow from him, then we can put some snow on the ground. There are way too many torches here, so I'll add some lava pools. Wait, why did he say he was adding snow? Snowballs here. If I steal some snow from him, then we can put some snow on the ground. There are way too many torches here, so I'll add I some I don't get why, why he wants snow on the ground, but okay. Because the snow golem's shooting snow? I don't be mean to the stride. Whoa! I thought, oh, oh, now we something. can build this up. Oh, that and nice. there we go. Wait, will the skulls go through lava? I'll try putting lava here. And... Oh, that could be smart. Oh, it actually works. Oh, that now looks great. Look at it from I'm stealing here. all these it ideas, by the, the way. Tunnel back oh, that there, looks amazing. That perfect. Oh, that looks really good. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Oh, I think a glow squid spawned and then... Ah, oh, glow squid's ruining the day! <laughs> and it died. That could be problematic. Exploded. That explosion might kill the snowman. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we can try it anyway. So I'll just make another snowman behind here, just like that. So if this one dies, the wither will target this one instead. Now I'll add some I don't know if that was this. I, I would just light up the... the, uh, the to place the water so that then glow squids couldn't spawn. That's probably what I would do because I think they need certain light level, don't they? Darkness or something? Total darkness, to be precise. Inside of this area, starting with a pathway of blackstone bricks. Oh, this is going to look nice as well. A little bit of a... I'll add a bunch of redstone lamps to the ground. 
I mean, and I'll add one I mean, or is, uh, is the top here. No. It'll just be a little hut out of deep slate bricks. I can't add a backside because the heads might hit it. So I'll have to just leave it open like this. And I can add some bricks. I think going to the lab looks and really cool. Add I really like the way it looks. And some fences in the front. Just like that. So now if we head over here. That... See, I, I never really like to watch people who, are, who do building, but I can understand why people enjoy it. And I, I'm actually thinking, wow, like this looks so cool what he's created here. I, uh, I really like it. Doesn't it doesn't look very good. I think, I think like when a... he adds like innovative stuff to his builds is what is cool. Like he's got to make a build around a wither shooting things all the time. So to do that, he has to cleverly like make it go through lava and stuff like that. And that's what I find quite cool. A rim of nether bricks. It's kind of annoying having the wither here while building this. Then yeah, it's a bit dangerous, a right? Of nether brick slabs. And yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty Why does he cool. not have netherite Finally, tools? That's what I would fill have. this area in with glass. <laughs> Come on, Sam Diction. There we Get go. Get netherite. Now the weather Ooh. is officially trapped. That took a lot longer than I thought it would, but it's trapped now. I like so that. That's good. Now that we're done the wither, it's time to do the warden. First of all, I'll place a piston and some redstone. The warden's a pretty easy one, though. That. I think the warden's uh, pretty that's easy. That's gonna make sense after I get the warden here. Now, I need to find an ancient city. This cave looks new. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Looks like everywhere's a nice. dead end. So, yeah. Uh, the, another one here. The warden, for me, it's, it's, it's a lot. I think it's easier than trapping the wither. The thing about the hard, the hard thing about the warden is learn it back. Now, obviously, I did it above the nether. Gonna be interested to see if he like does it smarter than me, but we'll uh, yeah, we'll, time will tell. Oh, this is really deep. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a deep dark. So there's a chance there's an ancient city in here. Oh, wait. Has he got there one? Is. Now I only have diamond armor, so this is gonna be extra difficult. How okay. are we gonna pull this off uh, without? It doesn't seem to have planned it. I don't know where I am. Before we do anything, we need to dig a massive tunnel. He's gonna use a base. tunnel. Oh, that's gonna take a long time. <laughs> right. Watch out for the creep. Make a mob switch. I, I think a lot of hardcore players don't want to and make mob switches. I'm like, yeah, I'll make a mob switch now any day of the week. Now we can just go and grab the warden. Oh. This is going to be you can really fly. hard. Um, we can drink the night vision. Oh. Is the warden spawning? Oh, yeah. He's spawning. Oh, he's right there. Why is he so calm? You're in hardcore, mate. He has a lot of totems, just... but chilling at the top there, I guess. Uh, well, he's not coming down, so I guess I'll just go loot some chests. Oh, he... Okay, he teleports. Uh, he doesn't teleport. So he just... Uh, another one spawned. And I need him to follow me now. Oh, he's gonna shoot me. Okay. This is gonna I'll be really hard for him. Then I should be able to mine the block. Oh, no. Yeah, what if I just tank it? Okay, now I block him off, and we moved him. Moved him like 20 blocks. He's not going to do this all the way, is it? 5,000 blocks. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Warden. Okay. He's got to keep him really, moving. Yeah. Really fast. I think people like keep far away well. enough. And oh. while I'm running from the Warden, I thought it would be a good time to announce that we got a plushie. It'll only be available for Little the next two weeks. Plushie. So if you're interested in getting it... Hey, I've uh, got a plushie too. It's the pinned more. comment. Am I allowed to if plug my own plushie on in, when he's plugging his? Buy them both. Store. Buy them both. SP Zombies in the store and Sand Diction. Okay, 20 stuff. minutes of running later and we're back at the base. Now hopefully it takes the piston. No, no, it's it, it only, it'll only go for the player. Uh, maybe if I just... It'll take... It'll, okay, wait, did he name tag it? I, I bet it goes back in the ground. Now. Did he name tag it? Oh no, okay, okay, okay. Because the piston's there, it's interesting. It doesn't seem like he's targeting me. So as long as this piston keeps making noise, I should be safe so to start off i'll just have really i don't think that's how it works play. mate oh the, the, the warden will start to annoying. not get annoyed by you more than back here thing. for now i'll build the same thing I think. and we should be able to do this oh he's coming and then we run and it looks like he's he taking on the oh he's trapped again so you know what he's done this so much better than i did <laughs> oh, okay oh i take it all back uh i didn't realize you would be able to still see me i'll block you off and that lets us build whatever we want here without any interruption. Yeah, get him out. Yeah, build what you want and then there bring we go. the wall. There's yeah, the floor the done. Now, before I can actually design it and trap the warden in here, I need to make it look similar to the wither area. So I'll have to mine out a bunch of this blocks is such a big project isn't here it? to try to match the roof area. This is going to take a long time. Oh, that's a creeper. Look at that, defeated. 
And there we go. Look at the that speed took that he does a long time. But we still have to oh, do the frame is the roof. That's for the roof. Is that for the roof? Take even more time. Oh, so subscribe, uh, building slime. around the edge. Are you subscribed to Stun Addiction? I am, guys. Make it I am subscribed. Smooth into the ceiling, going all the way around. Okay. And I love it. I love that. You know, we're gonna watch that again. The ceiling, so good. Going all you ready? the way around. Okay. Look at that. Because that's taken so and long to edit, by the way. Go. I want to make this look like an improved version of the ancient cities, so I'll build okay, I like the idea of this. and put some chisel deep slate in the corners and polish deep slate with some more chisel oh, with some more chisel deep slate on Don't the fall. top of that. Parkour. And then the normal pillar on top of this. I can also add some iron bars in here, and that looks pretty cool. So that would look like now, it would look quite nice. I wonder if he put something inside. To Is he going to put a ward inside here. it? And there Ooh, we go. Cool. That's the second one. Now for the middle, we'll make a path. It'll extend out here. I'll extend it by two blocks. I can see his vision wall. already. I'll add some pillars, a little wall in the middle, another layer of wool on top of this. Now I want to connect. Does he subtitle the entire thing? By the way, this the editing level path, is crazy. I think dark oak makes the most sense. Oh, that was a creeper. Okay, not everything well, gets subtitled. Okay. So I'll place that wood. Now I'll add a bunch of patches of skull. And I'll actually have the skull veins. Hey, I feel like I'm in an ancient city now. Here into another patch. And I also need to get some of these lanterns. I don't know how to make them, so I'm just gonna <laughs> steal mine them. them up. Finally, Come on, we'll add some ores. It's like so he's, he's like he's like the most I'll creative Minecraft player I've ever played, but I've ever seen. But he doesn't have nether so that and he doesn't know how to make lanterns. Just put nuggets around him. It one of those torches. Cool, but now comes the scary Wait, part. This, we need to bring this, the warden thing? back here. If I just break that. Uh, hello? Give him a punch. Oh, don't do it. He's don't coming. Do it. I need him to stick to the piston. Oh no. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, dear. I need to run. Uh, you need to run. Wait, did he escape? That's really bad. Uh, okay, I need to bring him back in. Back. Come on. Over. Oh no. And uh, trapping the one was the hardest thing ever. He's going to pop another total me. 100%. Okay, I've, 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 I've dealt with wardens enough, I know. I don't want him to escape, so I'll try to block this off. Oh, I don't think I got it. Okay, that's another totem gone, and I'm out of totems. Uh, uh -oh. What do I do? I guess we have to just hide in the nether. Elden, he's trapping a warden okay, gone wrong. So it's very difficult. Oh, I like that. I like that four-way portal right thing. I like how everybody's game, everybody's world is so I different. I also don't have any totems. I think that that misty um, effect is really cool underneath as well. Good. If I go back without totems, I'll definitely die. So I need to get some more, and I need to get. Is it live? It's a premium. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm actually live. Because yes, if I get too live. close to the base, the warden will probably kill all the. Wait, is he just not going to get another totem? Does he not have a totem farm? Do you have anything set up in this world, Sandiction? Then trade for obsidian build a new portal over here we need to find a pillager with a he's not like me that's got everything under the sun outpost. to get me out of a gpa <laughs> i'm there with like 16 shulker village, boxes of totems like come at me to uh, come at me one i'll, I'll take it there's so one yeah he's done another raid good idea and i do like that he has a texture pack for his totems but i feel like now we can i don't know it's been too long i don't want to add a texture pack for mine i'm just gonna okay um, Keep Here using totems go. as they His are. His heart is beating super fast, which means he wants to kill He's me. He's out. And he just jumped down there, which means he really wants to kill me. Can he even get up from there? Oh. Well, well he, he can shoot me. you from if there. If we just block off all the ways he can escape, then we should be able to trap him. So, all I need to do is break this, get him to chase me. That is terrifying. Now I It is very terrifying. Here. Okay. It wasn't this and stressful I when I got him, that's for sure. <laughs> here and trap him like that. And that Although it's always stressful good. just dealing, like building around Ooh. him and stuff. Yeah, he's on the piston. Okay. That was hard. Now I should be able to just walk up here, lock him in, and that should be Warden good. trapped. We have one warden and one pillar, so now it's time to do the other pillar. We'll be a lot smarter with this one after Yeah, you when you do it once, you, 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 you've done it a hundred times. So I think the best way to do this is to only give it one pathway to go. Now we can go back to the Yeah, then it, can't, then it has to go through, yeah. Oh, I think there already is a warden in here. Oh, he's here. This okay, is the one that was above I, him? I can't see anything. There oh. he is. And now we just have to run it back for 20 minutes. This part sucks. Now we come in here. He's still following me. And we wrap him up. Get lastly, him in. I do like the, the, the way he trapped him is super clever. That has like an up and down piston. Wait, the warden just 
disappeared. Oh, uh, climb back in the I ground. I thought the yeah. would stop it from despawning. Maybe since the piston's underground, it isn't loud enough to keep it there. I'll make an observer clock, and I'll use trap doors this time. Then just, just name tag. If you name tag a warden, it won't climb back into the ground. And just ever. bring the warden back. Obviously, it's a little bit dangerous to get that close to name tag it, but if you can do that, you're safe. Away. You're safe. So as, safe he's as now ever. stuck. Perfect. Then we can finally finish placing in the glass. So now, not only do we have the wither trapped, but we also have two different wardens trapped. That is nice. pretty cool. So he's got the, the warden. Did he get a third does warden? Look pretty bad with all the chests and everything. So three, two, one, and boom. There we go. Look at that. I now love that little bit of editing. Is to trap the, <laughs> the fast so editing. I couldn't do that because it took me about dragon. 30 days. There I want to see. So, so, yeah. this is kind of the big bit now. This is when he's, he traps an ender dragon. He spawns two ender dragons. I don't even know how he does it. I don't know how it's possible. Cannot wait to see how he does it though. Okay. How he gets two ender dragons. And then he only has to kill one. He can trap the other one. And then he can permanently have an ender dragon. But he can also leave then. I'm going to steal this idea by the way. I will, I will be trapping an ender dragon at some point as well. Because <laughs> it's very, very clever. Yeah, the YouTuber Sand Diction, if you were wondering. He's a very, very cool YouTuber. Now I'll shoot out all the end crystals. And because of the planet I built in a different episode, the dragon breaks and gets stuck just like that. So this is how I trapped the dragon okay. in the last episode. But the problem was because the game knows the dragon's alive, I didn't know the, dragon the could portal get stuck. disappears and you can't get back to the overworld. But a technical Minecraft player found a brand new bug that lets you get around that. So the first thing we need to do is build a flying machine. And I'll put obsidian right here to make sure it stops here. Now, if I just break this, the flying machine starts. So what's it going to do? Push the, the end of dragon. dragon. Oh. Uh, it didn't push the dragon. That didn't dragon work. Can't break end stone. So I'll try putting that on the front and we'll send it again. Yeah, so that's it then. Will that push it? I have no idea what to do if it doesn't. Oh, it's yeah. Working. Whoa, we that's so cool. And the dragon's still stuck. Until the obsidian. Okay, I, didn't, I don't get there. why is the dragon so glitched. I haven't really seen these other videos, so I don't stop. know why. Perfect. We can't leave if the dragon's alive, so we need to trick the game into thinking the dragon's dead. And we can actually do that by pushing the dragon into this teleport. <gasps> so this is like this is like the, the the foundation of how you make an Ender Dragon farm. And it, I think it might still be possible. And Raiseworks has told me it's still possible because the mechanics still work. But he's, he's never had a chance to work on the farm. But I guess it's possible. But to get it through an end gateway is going to be. This is going to be so interesting to see everything. I I, I didn't know this was all possible in. Uh, in one point, whatever, <laughs> one point nineteen. It's a little small, but it should work. So we'll build another flying machine. Make sure to put endstone on the front, and then go. Did he put endstone on the front? Uh, it disappeared. Wait, what? Oh, it's still, oh, it's still there. there. It's still there. Okay. It's just now okay, will it go through the teleporter? Oh. It did it. He got it okay, through. Perfect. So the wow. dragon went through the teleporter and is now. And he still didn't break any blocks either. Way over there. I, I, oh, okay. Well, oh, anyway, don't uh, ruin this. Now, <laughs> after a minute, the game will realize there's no dragon here and there's also no portal. So I guess in case there's a bug, the game will respawn the dragon just like that. So we uh -huh. have a new dragon here, and the dragon that was teleported is still over there in those unloaded chunks. Now we'll kill this one. There we go. And does it? Oh, okay. Oh. It can still hit you when it's dead. Now that this dragon's dead, the it should open the pot, right? And we still have the dragon over there in the unloaded chunks. So all we have to do is bring it back over there, and he this should is clever. be here. Oh. Yeah, he's there. Wow. The health bar is This is gone. amazing. So I didn't know I'm this was possible at 1.9. I knew it was possible at 1.8, like 1.10. Like other mob. Meaning, I guess we can do anything we want with it. What happens if I push you into the dragon? Okay, come over here, and then... He goes flying. It's like go, a The dragon being here on its own is pretty cool, but kind of useless. But what we can do is unload the chunks. Now if we come back, the dragon is free. And for some reason, it just tries to fly back to the base. So we how did what the heck? This him. is cool. Okay, here we are. So it'll just fly all Here's the way the back. Dragon. Destroy Where's everything, dragon. Um. Oh, I had a beacon down there. Oh, it just broke my beacon. Okay, and it's destroying everything oh um, no oh this is ruining my life so much time doing that okay that is well, really upsetting it's me that's destroying everything now. So that's good is it gonna and get trapped since we had to unload the chunks in order to get them to be freed i'm assuming we have to unload the chunks to get them stuck again so when he's in a good spot i'll go back to the overworld and he is stuck 
Perfect. I don't know why okay. it gets stuck. So I still don't get that. I have to look into and that. The portal is still there. Something to do with this planet. You can trap it, but I kind of want to see what happens if I spawn another one. So we have two dragons running around now. What the heck? That's a little weird. I'll He's got two dragons. Crystals. It's possible. Break the last crystal, and that should freeze them. Well, that one's frozen, but this one's perching. And if we hit, so I guess only one, one gets the frozen. Part at the top lowers. So this one is what the game thinks is the real dragon, and and that's that just a fake dragon as well. What if oh, the boat we frozen. push this real dragon into another teleporter? So I guess I'll first push it this way. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna right. trap about seventeen dragons? Way, and then push it straight, and it should just teleport straight. It's destroying the chain, uh, isn't it? It's not. Oh, okay. So it works right. now. If we just wait here, a new one should spawn. Ow! Well, it's been a couple minutes, but no dragon has. Spawned. I guess because there's already wait. a dragon here. Oh, this dragon lowers the health bar, so the game thinks this is the real dragon and won't spawn another. What if I put this dragon in the teleporter? So I need to lower it, then I'll. So he's gonna have two the dragons. In the... oh, Yay! Put them both in the teleporter, and then there'll be two dragons at the, the other side. Machine. So I guess we have to restart. Okay, messed up. Do it again. Okay, Do it again. Let's try spawning another dragon. I'm excited to see how this works. And we'll send it through a different teleporter. So we have two dragons now. And since I trapped one wither and two wardens, I feel like it just makes sense to trap three dragons. As if we can trap so three dragons. One no time. way. We'll push this one and it stops right about here. And we'll send it that way. Please work. Um, it didn't work. No, go through dragon. I guess it's hitbox to quite go through. And it doesn't work. It's just a shame that he built so much here and then he's ruining it all. There anyway. And go back. Oh, it's true. Wait, it just flew into it itself. So there Happy should days. be a dragon spawning right up here in just a second. There it is. Perfect. Another one. We'll kill this one to spawn the portal back. And boom. That hopefully is the last time we need so to kill the dragon. So he's done that. He's got so three dragons that are going to be flying back. Grab is that dragons. This is that what's going to happen? Where it gets tricky. Here's the first one. It Did he send them all through different fly back gateways, automatically? Then? Yep. There we go. Now we just have to watch as it destroys a lot of what we built in the other videos. Then we'll go to the overworld and then back to the end. And there we go. It's frozen. Perfect. Dragon trap. So that's one dragon back. We'll go through this one now. Okay, here we go. The other dragon's still there, so that is good. And this one is now stuck. So we just have one more dragon wow. left to get through. This it's gonna portal. have three. They always just fling you as soon as yeah, you. Yeah, well, if you fly into a dragon, what you get? Three dragons at wow. the same time. Where's, is it gonna perch uh, at a different place as well? That's kind of weird to look at. And we'll wait. I didn't know anything like this was possible. And this is very to, groundbreaking. Uh, that was almost really bad. The one dragon flung the other one up at the very last second. That was... So are they all just going to be frozen when he comes back through now? they hit each other the right way, they just go flying. Let's see. And perfect. One, two, three. Now, wow. I need to actually trap these wow. three dragons. I was thinking I would do something like this cage. But because we can use flying machines to push the dragon, we don't have to make it that big. We can actually make it the correct size. So I'll build the first cage here. Now we'll try this. Okay, push and, it in. Uh, wait, I can't wait to see this too finished. far. Okay, let's try that again. Perfect. So that looks like it's in the right spot. Actually, I can't place a stopper here. So we'll push it out of the way. This is a revolutionary we'll video, guys. I'm telling you now, very revolutionary. I've never done anything like this before. Should be good. That's the very, very first clever. First dragon trapped out. Then I'll do the same thing for the second dragon. So I'll send this one over, and I'll send it down as well. Yeah, that's like perfectly in the cage. That is really nice. Okay, and we'll send the third dragon over here, and this should be the last. It's so line weird. Why are they frozen? So we have three dragons <laughs> trapped. Right I don't now. get it. Why I'm the planet does that? But confident it's cool like that has never been done before ever but in the process of yeah i don't that, think anyone's ever done that. made a mess and the dragons also sort of broke everything fix it all yes make it all look perfect oh he's doing it to the music that's clever as well and there we go <laughs> i built chains oh, wow. connected to each dragon just like i did in the last episode but before i finish with the project i want to trap the frog and a lay what's cool about this project collection. is that oh 
It'll never end. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the bug I had to use to trap the dragon was only just recently discovered. So after trapping the Alay and the Frog, we have the only hardcore world in the world that has every single mob, including the bosses, 100% trapped. Oh, he thinks he's got the only one in the world. Well, he does. I'm going to have to be the second hardcore world in the only one in the world that has 100% of the mobs caught. I need to get... Oh, no, wait, he hasn't... I don't think he's trapped the nether mobs, has he? Has he trapped the nether mobs? Has he trapped a piglin brute, a piglin, and a hoglin? I don't think he has. I can beat him to it if he hasn't. 